We're almost to two weeks. Today is day 13 keto update. And in today's vlog, I'm gonna show you what happened when I ate one day where I ate regular protein after my workout. And then on another day, I drank a protein shake. And I'm gonna tell you which one I felt better after and did it affect my training or performance in the following days. So stay tuned for that. What I have is that if you watch my vlog yesterday, you'll see that I reduced the amount of protein that I was eating and I kept my, um, fats very high, but yesterday I took my carbs up to 20 total carbs, but I kept my protein low and I ate the correct amount of fat and I'll put my macros right here. But guys, guess what happened again this morning? Check this out. No bulletproof coffee. Nope. Because I'm currently at 14 hours fasted and going to train. What's that? Am I a crazy person? Probably. A few more sets. I will definitely tell you this. Training fasted. I, my heart is beating out of my chest. But it's weird because I have tons of energy. My endurance actually seems perfectly fine. But damn, my heart is beating out of my chest. The dreaded cardio. Let's see, we're doing the protein shake today. I just took my first sip of it. It's good, but certainly not what I want to be doing after a grueling workout. I just finished my workout using the um, protein shake. And I have to tell you right off the bat that my stomach it's funny how you don't notice some things until you do something else and then by comparison you notice it. My stomach feels so upset right now, like bloated and just kind of gross and like I'm still hungry. Day two. Okay guys, I just wanted to tell you about something kind of funny. So you know that little machine, you'll see it behind me. He's doing it right there where you're doing hypers and you're coming up. So it was always, until just now, it was always turned so that your butt is facing like everybody in the gym. And I asked the girl that kind of runs the gym, like, hey, how come y'all have it turned that way? And she said, oh my God, I am always so self-conscious about that too. So she walked over there and spun it around the correct way. So now, look what we're working with. Now it's facing the right way. So you can do a full hyper and really crunch that nasty cellulite together. You're welcome, world. First time. So I just finished my workout and I'm supposed to be eating my real food and I forgot it. So I'm gonna go over to the gas station and grab two hard boiled eggs. But you also forgot your food. What did I have? All right guys, it's not the best meal, but it will do. Sodium, yes I know this is garbage salt, but it's better than no sodium. Two hard boiled eggs and a stick of pepper jack cheese. I'm starving. Mm. Mm. All right, here's the deal. I just ate the egg and cheese thing that you guys saw and you know that wouldn't really have worked except that there is a gas station right across the street from my gym so it was literally like 30 seconds after I finished my workout. I have to tell you I really enjoy eating real food after my workout like that is a much better option to me I don't know why I have been drinking protein shakes and I know that you know that food's not as bioavailable you know cannot be as readily digested and refill your muscles and all of that. But I, you know, I don't really care so much about that. That's not as big of a deal to me as just getting food into my body and refueling myself. So I don't feel bloated. I don't feel hungry. I don't feel shaky. My stomach's not upset. I feel satisfied and full and happy. So I guess the takeaway here is I'm gonna start just eating two hard boiled eggs and some cheese and maybe some almonds and maybe like one slice of a carbohydrate. I, I would recommend absolutely trying this for yourself and see how you feel because first off, protein shakes are not cheap. I know they're convenient and I'm not saying that I'll never have another protein shake because I will if I'm traveling or whatever for sure. But for every day, just kind of going through my day, I mean, that's 25 grams of protein every time I drink a protein shake. So would I rather have that or two hard boiled eggs? 
Um, I would definitely rather have two hard boiled eggs. And hard boiled eggs are just as easy to, you know, cook 12 at a time, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and throw them in, you know, a little cooler, put it in your gym bag. Or just throw it in your gym bag, guys. If you work out for an hour, even an hour and a half, they'll be fine. Think about how long those things sit out at like a brunch. So they're totally fine to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to run this test for myself and see what happened. Highly recommend it and know for myself I'm going to be switching. That's pretty much it. I'm going to have to wrap up from the road today because I have a lot of stuff going on. But if you're enjoying this journey, I would love to have you along for the ride. I'd love to have you consider subscribing or hitting the like button. And of course, you can turn on the little bell to receive notifications whenever I upload my daily vlogs. And guys, leave your questions, comments, or video suggestions in the comments below and let me know. What do you do? Do you drink protein shakes? Do you eat regular protein? Is this something you would try? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys tomorrow, which is day 14, otherwise known as the two week update. See you guys then and do not quit on yourselves. Keep going. See you tomorrow.